What's up, Goated Ones? Frank from the Goated Guild here, your favorite product marketer. You should hire me. Checking out Tenor. Tenor, NY-based startup automates. I'm not even going to read it. I'm just going to view this site. First time user experience. What am I getting out of this site? Turn your ASCs most tedious task into revenue. I hate acronyms. <laughs> It's the one thing Elon Musk is completely right about. Acronyms are not as useful as people think they are. They are just confusing the people. It's just really annoying and I hate them. Um, so that is a violation. That one there was a violation. Most tedious task into revenue. Um, I guess maybe this is a, I, I think even people who are in healthcare, some of these terms are just not, I don't know, people might not grab them but whatever automate the work holding your team back from seeing more patients request the demo old black guy looking into the sun <laughs> oh man i am a fucking idiot um let me check this out i'll include this in the in the hero patient scheduling flow tracks the life cycle of patient referrals through the system Okay. I guess this is like specific to, you know, this industry, but you know, my family has been in healthcare and I've had to deal with some systems myself. So, um, curious about what are the different components to this platform? Um, this looks like a Kanban board. Um, into the infusion center um i think instead of talking about the different people talk about what are the tedious tasks I th i'd rather see what those tasks are versus just like the the people who could be customers um i don't know i still i don't fully get the high level of well, I guess I get the high level, but I don't really know what that means. Tedious tasks. Well, like what? Um, so I guess tracking referrals um, is a thing. Um, so I got to give this tenor. I give it, I guess this is, this is another 7.0. It just barely barely does it but the rest of the page I kind of want to see what these tasks are how do we turn the task into revenue what does that mean turn a task into revenue um, does it speed up the process so I can see more patients tell me how you do that um, way too much text oh man nobody's reading this tenors automated workers take on the most tedious of tasks facing your staff, fax PDF and handwritten items, really freaking annoying, but there's, I get that that's a thing, manual workflows, incomplete information, doing data entry by hand, inefficient processes lead to lost revenue, lost revenue and messy process means missed opportunity, something about this text doesn't feel succinct or specific enough um fax wrangling on board and let tenor optimize your practice and staff um what the hell where's this guy automations platform to handle the nuances of human decision making so who who is actually gonna use this because this doesn't look easy this looks complicated for the people that I, in the infusion center I was in. It's not a lot of young people who are used to using these type of services. So I don't know. You're gonna have to keep it very, very simple. UX is gonna really matter. Keep your process. Intelligence that grows your practice. 
minimize claim denials, generate stronger claims and appeals with the same tech that insurance companies are using to deny them. You got to, I mean, these are all, these are cool talking points, but I don't know the, the meat of it. Like, what exactly are we doing here? Still feeling like I'm not getting that. Keep a specialist in the loop at any point in your workflow to make sure a tenor is transporting the right data. Does this integrate with all the other services they're going to use? Okay, this is what I was asking. <laughs> Connect your existing tools. Okay. Do you have an example of how somebody grew their practice by using Tenor? I mean, they raised 18 mil. I'm sure they've got some good examples. Turn your messy data into your business advantage. I don't know. I don't know if the average person is going to be like, oh, maybe I should track this referrals thing and then I should make this change because I noticed this in our, like, I don't know if people are going to maybe really good people know how to use this information to improve their practice, but I don't think everybody's as savvy as maybe the folks who created Tenor are. Referral processing. Close the referral room. Okay, let me see if this... Hey everyone, Matt from Tenor here. Today I just wanted to run you through an automation for a workflow that I'm sure you're very familiar with if you're in the healthcare space, and that is taking a referral, you know, something that you might receive from your eFax, and then to extract some patient information and automatically upload it into either your EMR or your Salesforce or both. Um, but the reason I've chosen this workflow is just to demonstrate that at a higher level, Tenor allows you to connect the disparate systems that are being used in your back office and allow them to talk to one another and, and work together. So in this case, we're essentially connecting our eFax over to both our EMR and our Salesforce. Um, but before I actually go into the automation itself, I think it'd be most helpful to actually start with how you would do this workflow manually. And so yeah. for that, I have a real patient referral um, it's been de-identified, obviously, um, but you can tell it's real because it's a disgusting document, um, highly unstructured, um, you know, and the disgusting. formatting is um, is very gross and messy. But uh, a few things that I want to highlight, so you know, you can't even really copy and, and paste. A disgusting act. It's <laughs> text um, because you know it's it doesn't actually see where all the the text is, and then if you want to actually even search for things, let's say I want to find Alex Apple's city. Um, you know, I can't just search for city. I have to go comb through all 12 pages of this and find wherever that information is. Um, but anyways, let's say I have just received this referral in my eFax and now I need to go create a new patient in my Salesforce and my EMR. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go open our Salesforce. We're gonna go to contacts and then we're gonna create a new one. And so um, here I need to know, you know, the first name, last name, phone. So I have to go over here. Okay, Alex Apple. Again, I can't copy and paste it, so I have to type Got in, it. you know, Alex. Okay. Apple, and then the phone number. Okay, what's the phone number? Um, I get it. So don't paste it. Wrong. So I have to type it in one, two, three. But oops, I've made a mistake. And now uh, when I actually, it has those downstream effects um, down the road. But now I have to go do the same exact thing in my EMR. And so, you know, I have to go find all this information again. But, okay, in this situation, I actually also need to find. Got it. So that, that video kind of helps. Um, processing referrals. Um, I, I get that that might be. Because I guess the it seems like what they're trying to do is make a more generic kind of a. Kind of like a zappier for healthcare um i think what i'm seeing is that some of these things need to be templated up and let people quickly get to this point um and they need to create the they know the best practices so like you can obviously he's dealt with this before payment posting um generate stronger claims be good to have a video audit medical record management we valued basically every ai solution on the sun and they basically need to do only do one thing or their own their one small feature part of some messy new system 
Tenor is really the only company that was all in one from an automations perspective, but nicely integrates with the existing systems that we do like. And I think that that tracks with my experience as well. Um, it seems like some of these healthcare organizations are kind of stuck with their tools. And if you can find a way to kind of build something on top of it that doesn't require them to, because whenever a tool gets implemented, it kind of has to go through a whole process. Um, so not having to rip up your whole current process is probably something people want. Um, this page is just very text heavy, very plain. It's just, it's just kind of boring. All these stock images kind of just look cheap. The spacing is all off. They just need a little design love on this page. 98% reduction in patient servicing time. Sure. 94% <laughs> of data entry errors eliminated. Sure. I believe you. <laughs> um, hear what technology leaders have to say about us. Head of Automation Solutions at Amazon. We found that there have been a tremendous acceleration adoption over the last 3.5 years. Is this about Tenor? So we started Tenor two years ago with the idea that we could fine tune these smaller language models for very specific tasks and remove a lot of the tedious work that often creates bottlenecks for various types of businesses. I didn't see nothing about no language model. So what? So our bread and butter use cases are often with financial and healthcare services, specifically related to insurance. So in the insurance world, basically you have tons of different types of documents, all with you know hundreds of different formats. And right now, companies have to read these different formats and extract the right information, and it's all incredibly time consuming and labor intensive. The Tenor's automation model, built on AWS, is able to ingest all of that information from all these different formats and intelligently extract the needed information and then either, you know, create or write a document needed for the next step of the process. Kind of reminds me of uh, HyperScience. Did some OCR stuff back in the day. Ready to do more with less than how in 15 minutes. You have a demo page? Okay. Um, about us. This is very important. Stanford CS, HCI, hey, love me some HCI people. Okay, a lot of engineers and stuff, cool. I didn't get the LLM part. The LLM stuff in this space scares the hell out of me because some of these LLMs are so confident saying complete bullshit and I'm just like, damn. And people just accept it, you know? So, um, cool. Um, I think there's just a lot I would add to this page. Um, I would probably have to go in with some of these customers because I think those two testimonials they have are really good, actually. I think these are really solid. Um, because there are going to be a lot of solutions, but ones that don't try too hard to be just like replacing everything is going to get more success. Um, but I don't think the rest of the page informed me of how that works in practice the way that this quick little thing did it for me. Like this is the most powerful part of the whole page to me. Um, so I'd find a way to express some of these things like it just it needs a little bit more detail for me um it just i can't just look at this and say like oh i get it <laughs> you know what i mean um because it's part of a process so they definitely need more video um and it seems like they're pretty good at video the guy is pretty good on on camera with the loom um so yeah, maybe you do some pages for all these folks and maybe you have the three, you talk to a bunch of these folks and figure out what are the three most tedious tasks you have to deal with. 
what's taking up an extra hour and a half of time in your day and just make those automations for people have your template section and say hey if you're a home health care person these are the things you have to do after every session you need to do x y and z you'd rather on your walk back to your car just do your report talk into your microphone and then be able to do this maybe there's a flow that can be created and send the document into the right place that type of a thing um, so some use case pages would be good for this as well um, but yeah if you are in healthcare and looking to add some automations to your stack check these folks out my family is all in healthcare and I've dealt with some of this unfortunately so I uh, wish this company well tennr.com check them out they just raised a round so congrats to them as always brush your teeth walk in the corner check out gotogill.com if you want to get customer feedback collected for you product insight extracted from that customer feedback that's what i do happy to do that for your company or at least just do a video like this for your business review it um what are we giving score wise for tenor 7.0 on the hero page was a little bit better i think the testimonial did a lot of heavy lifting we're gonna give it a 7.3 on the page um check them out tennr.com denbo out